If you're a beginner looking to get started live streaming on your MacBook, your PC, or even your smartphone, you're gonna wanna watch this video till the end because I'll be sharing with you the easiest software for live streaming in 2021, which is Restream.io. And I'll also be giving you guys a tutorial of this software so when you finish this video, you can start your live stream right away. Now, Restream Studio is a web-based live broadcasting solution, which basically means that you can use it through your web browser on your PC, your MacBook, or your smartphone. Now, one of the things that makes Restream super awesome is that it's easy to use and also super easy to engage with your audience. So for example, it allows you to broadcast to multiple social media platforms, and then it takes all the comments from either Facebook or YouTube or LinkedIn and puts it all into one easy spot where you can see all the comments coming in for your videos. And then you're able to engage with your audience. So you can bring those comments up on the screen for everyone to see. You can also add different overlays, logos, different kind of text effects. But enough of me just telling you how it works. Let's jump in and take a look at the software. All right, so here we are within the Restream software. Um, on this page, you will be able to click Add Channels, and here you'll be able to add things like Facebook Live, Twitch, YouTube, Periscope, LinkedIn, as well as a bunch of other platforms that you'd be able to multi-stream to. Uh, so you'd have to do is just click on, for example, YouTube, connect your YouTube channel, which is what I already did, and now when I go back to my dashboard here, I can see I have my channel set up. Uh, you also have the ability to update your title and your description for your content right here. Um, on the side here, there's also an events page. So if you wanna schedule your YouTube live stream or other live streams, you can schedule them here so that way your viewers know that you're gonna live stream in the near future and can get ready to watch what you're gonna produce. Uh, you also have video storage here. So I have all my recordings of previous live streams that I did that if I wanted to, I could click the option, I could download them and I'd be able to reuse that content or maybe edit it down and be able to use it for other content on different platforms. Uh, but for that, let's now hop into the live studio. So I'm just gonna click on here and it's gonna pull up the live studio. All right, so here we are in the live studio. Uh, on the bottom here, we have the ability to mute our microphone. You can turn on and off the video. Uh, you also have the option to share your screen. Uh, it's currently only supported in Windows, uh, but if you're on Mac, you just gotta go over to Bootcamp and then just open Restream.io uh, on the Windows side of a MacBook through Bootcamp and be able to share your screen. Uh, you can also invite guests, which you can actually have up to 10 guests at one time within your live stream, which is pretty awesome. You can also add video files. So if you've got pre-recorded content that you wanna just kind of throw up in the middle of your live stream, you'd be able to add it right here. You also have the ability to connect this to Zoom. So if you're doing a Zoom meeting, you'd be able to connect it right here and be able to uh, live stream your Zoom meeting. And then finally, we have the settings. So here you'd be able to choose the video input, which camera you're gonna use, the audio, uh, etc. You're gonna find it all right here. Now you'll also notice right underneath my screen, you have all these options here. So you could do the picture in picture. If you have a guest on, you could have you know the two screens right there so you can have a conversation. So really easy to switch between these. Uh, and then there's this example comment right here. And this is the spot where all your chat is gonna pop up. So literally, all you have to do is, you know, that chat's coming in from Facebook or YouTube, and you literally just click on it, and it throws it right up into the stream. So everyone can see the comments that you're replying to. And I found this is awesome for engagement because the, the person watching feels recognized, and everyone sees the comment, and it's, it's just a great way to engage with your audience. And then I just click again, and it disappears just like that. Uh, you can also have the option to add captions. So for example, I can click on this. This caption says Restream allows you to stream live to 30 plus social platforms at once, but you can even customize them down here and be able to add your different primary text or secondary text and throw that up there on the screen. Next, we have the graphics section. So here you can actually choose the theme of how the text is gonna pop up on the screen. You can also change the colors here in all those settings. You can also add logos if you want, which I right now have the Restream logo up right here, but I can make that disappear if I wanted to. Uh, there's also the ability to have overlays. 
So now we've got this Restream Live uh, overlay going over the top. Uh, there's even timer counters that they have here. So if you needed to step away for like a minute or you want that minute pre-counter uh, before you start live streaming, so that way you know, it gives time for everyone to join in, you can just click on it here and it's just gonna start going by itself. Gives you time to really uh, get ready and get everyone in the live stream. Uh, and then just clicking again removes it, which is pretty awesome. Uh, you can also control the background. So if you were to do uh, something where you're more spaced out and you have a background, you can actually click through these, change the background. Uh, also, if you have guests, uh, the background will be visible. So they've got these pre-templates, but you could also add your own if you so choose. And then finally, there is the setup section. So here you can also change your title and description uh, instead of just going back to the dashboard, which is kind of handy to have uh, right in the live studio if you need to make a quick change to the title. And like I said earlier, you can do this right from your smartphone. So you don't necessarily even need a computer. You just open it up in your web browser and you'll be able to live stream with Restream.io. Now, if you're interested in using this software, I have a referral link down below in the description so you can click on that and start using this awesome software. And be sure to check out this video which shows you the best gear that you need to start live streaming in 2021. Hope to see you guys over there and thanks for watching this video.